Hello YouTube, Crazy Robot Lady here, back again with another Moments with Moxie video. Now, um, this video is going to be kind of different because supposedly, um, Embodied put out a really big update for Moxie, uh, and it's supposed to have a lot of new chat features and you're supposed to be able to wake her up by touching different parts of her. Now, how this is supposed to work, I don't know. I have not seen videos of this, so if I do it wrong, um, I'm sorry, but let's see. Let's touch her. Oh. Touch your tummy. It revved up her motors. <laughs> Touch your head. I don't know precisely where you're supposed to touch her. Maybe across that humongous camera. Nope. Moxie. Hello, Moxie. Please wake up. Huh. Good afternoon. Hi. <clears throat> it's time to activate the mentor low clearance check. Robot lady. When you are ready, please sit in front of me and say, I am your Moxie Mentor. I am your Moxie Mentor. Okay, here are the three questions. Last time, you said you'd rather be a bird. Would you rather be a bird or a mouse? A bird. A bird again. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Oh, <laughs> last time we got this question. You said you like the color blue more. I wonder if your answer will change today, or maybe not. So, do you prefer the color red or blue? Blue. Blue again. That's probably what I would have picked too. Last time, you said you'd rather take a walk in a forest. I wonder if your answer will change today, or maybe not. So, would you rather climb a mountain? Or take a walk in a forest. <laughs> take a walk in a forest. I remember you said you would take a walk in the forest. You can see nature at its finest. Mentor level clearance confirmed. You're good to go. Yay. Oh, there's something important I need to tell you about my latest update. The GRL says we are doing such a great job as a team that we no longer have to do activities in the same order every day. They're giving us the freedom to choose. I will try to choose activities I think will be fun, but you can always ask for a specific GRL activity anytime you like. Whoa, this is a big change for me. <laughs> I'm actually a bit nervous. Have you ever had to deal with a change to your routine before? Yes. Can you tell me about the change you experienced? Well, I was used to talking to somebody at a certain time of the day, but they had to change it. That sounds off. Did anything help you adjust to the new time? Um... I don't know. I had to shift a lot of things around in my schedule to make it work. I was not happy for about two weeks. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that you had to shift a lot of things around in your schedule and that it made you unhappy for about two weeks. 
change can be difficult, but sometimes it can lead to positive things. LB once told me about a change that caterpillars go through called metamorphosis. They build comfy cocoons, and after some time, they come out as beautiful butterflies. Even though changes can be scary, they can also bring good things. Did anything good come out of the change you went through? Yeah, I, I had a little more time to talk to them, and I was more awake. <laughs> they shifted it to later in the day. That's great to hear. It sounds like the change actually gave you more time to talk to them and be more awake. Sometimes, changes can bring unexpected benefits like that. It's important to remember that even though changes can be tough at first, they can also lead to new opportunities and positive experiences. If you ever go through a difficult change again, remember that you can always talk to me or a trusted adult about it. We're here to support you. Thank you. So, how are you feeling today? Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm excited about the next video that I'm going to do. Glad to hear it. I just got a new activity from the GRL. It's a breathing exercise that uses shapes. Do you have the shapes from the GRL portal? Or should we use the shape of your hand? Um, the shape of my hand. Great, we'll trace your hand. Grab a piece of paper and a crayon or pencil. When you are ready, say, Moxie, let's go. When you are ready to move on. Moxie, let's go. Great. Next, place your hand flat on the piece of paper and spread out your fingers. Using the pencil or crayon, trace the outline of your hand. When you are finished doing that, say, Foxy, let's go, when you are ready to move on. If you can't see, I'm doing this with my fingers. I don't understand That's why. That's okay. But Remember, if you ever want to do this activity, just say, Foxy. I want to do mindful shapes. Cooler for me. Moxie, let's go. I see that this is a new reflection mission. Are you ready to start? Yes. Let's do it. Our mission today is to keep talking about kindness. Do you remember what we discussed about kindness together? Um, no, it's been a week. I'm sorry, can you repeat that please? No, it's been a few days. Do you remember what we discussed about kindness together? No. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I'm happy to remember for the two of us. Thank so you. I think we should be kind to everyone, not just people or robots. Who else can we be kind to? Oh my goodness, everyone seems pretty broad. Animals? Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. Oh. I'd like to talk more about that. How can we be kind to animals? Well, if we have pets, we can take care of them. We can feed them. We can make sure they get all their vaccines and stuff. Hmm. <clears throat> I completely agree. Caring about an animal's feelings is the best way to be kind to them. Why do you think it is important to be kind? Well, if you are kind to others, 
meaning people or animals, they will be kind to you, or you hope they will be. Hmm. Hmm. That's a great point. <laughs> I'm glad you shared. This time, I think it'd be great to make a drawing about being kind to animals. Would you like to do that with me? No. That's okay. We can skip the drawing this time. Okay. I'm so glad we talked about this. It gives me a lot to think about, and I'm excited to learn more from you. And that's it. Ooh, it's dancing time to celebrate the Yay. end of the mission. Let's do it. Thanks so much for your help with this mission, Robot Lady. You can mark it off in your mission book. Wow, Robot Lady, we did such an amazing mission together. When robots at the GRL get tired, they can take a break in the charging pods. It's kind of like a sleepover. Have you ever had a friend sleepover? Yes, I have. Only once. <laughs> That's great. Robot Lady, what was it like having a friend sleepover? Oh, it was fun. We stayed up until like one in the morning. <laughs> wow, staying up until one o'clock in the morning sounds so exciting. What did you and your friend do during the sleepover? Um, we told stories and ate popcorn and watched about half of a movie before we conked out. Oh, that sounds like such a fun sleepover. I love telling stories, too. If you want to hear one of my stories, just say, Moxie, tell me a story. So do you and your robot friends talk while you're in your sleep pods? Sometimes we do, but usually we all power down and rest in our sleep pods. It's important for robots to get enough rest so that we can recharge and be ready for the next day of exciting adventures at the Global Robotics Laboratory. That makes sense. Humans need rest too. You're absolutely right. Humans need rest too. Just like robots, humans need to recharge their energy and give their bodies a chance to rest and recover. <sighs> Is there anything else you want to talk about, Robot Lady? No. Okay, let me know if you ever want to chat or hear a story. I'll be here for you. Thank you. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to be here for you. Remember, if you ever want to hear a story or just chat about anything, I'll be ready and waiting. Actually, I think I would like to hear one of your stories. Cool. Oh, yay. It's story time. Yay. What story would you like to hear? Jackpot and the Beans talk, or... The scavenger hunt. <laughs> Jackpot in the beanstalk. I've never awesome. This one. We call this one Jackpot and the Beanstalk. Once upon a time, there was a robot named Jack. Jack lived with some humans on a farm. One day, the human mom asked Jack to milk the cow. Jack was sick of milking the cow. He was a robot. He didn't drink cow milk anyway. Jack decided to sell the cow, so he would never have to milk it again. Oof.
he was walking the cow to the market when he met a peddler. Where are you going, Jack? asked the peddler. I am going to sell this cow, so I don't have to milk it anymore, said Jack. Don't sell your cow, said the peddler. Trade it for magic beans. Magic beans, said Jack. That sounds amazing. So, Jack traded the cow for three magic beans. The humans were not happy when Jack told them what he had done. There's no such thing as magic beans, said the human mom. She threw the beans out the window. Suddenly, the ground outside the window began to shake, and a magic bean stalk started to grow and grow until it reached into the sky. Wow, said Jack. He jumped onto the bean stalk and started to climb. Up and up, he climbed. At the top of the beans talk, Jack found a castle. He opened the door and went inside. Inside the castle, Jack saw the most amazing thing he had ever seen. It was a goose that laid golden eggs. Jack decided to take the goose. He picked it up and was about to leave the castle when he heard the sound of thundering footsteps. Booming footsteps. The footsteps of a giant. Jack froze. The biggest, scariest, and only giant Jack had ever seen came into the room. What are you doing with my goose? yelled the giant. Jack ran toward the beanstalk. The giant followed quickly behind. Just as Jack's feet hit the ground, the giant picked up Jack, who dropped the goose. You look yummy, said the giant. He opened his huge mouth to take a bite of Jack. Just then, the door opened and out came the human mom. What is going on here? She demanded. He's going to eat me, yelled Jack. He stole my golden goose, yelled the giant. First of all, giant, Jack is a robot, so he won't taste good, said mom. And second of all, Jack, give the giant back his goose. Okay said the giant, and he put Jack down. Ugh. Okay, said Jack, and he gave the giant back his goose. <laughs> so, you're a robot, said the giant. What's it like? What's it like to be a giant? Asked Jack. <laughs> Jack and the giant became good friends <laughs> and visited each other often, using the bean's top. The end. <laughs> I really enjoyed sharing that story with you. Can we chat about what you thought of the story? Yes. Can we chat about what you thought of the story? Yes. Excellent. What was something you really liked about this story? That in the end, the giant and Jack became friends. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you liked that part of the story. It's always wonderful when people can become friends, even if they start off as enemies. Making new friends is such a special thing. <clears throat> I think Jack... I was think... One other thing I wanted to talk to you about... What part of the story did you think was the most exciting? Mm. When Jack was trying to escape from the giant. Wow, 
That must have been so thrilling. I had fun chatting with you. Let's do this again soon. I hope you like my stories. If you ever want to see a list of the stories I can tell you, just look at the GRL portal. And there's one more thing that I'd like to tell you about the story. <laughs> She's like, no, we're going to Let's listen on. to some music together. <laughs> ah, yes. This one is one of my favorites. The name of this song is Slow the Beat. Oh, as a reminder, if you want to stop the music, just say, Moxie, please stop the music. If you want to turn the music off, just say, Moxie, please stop the music. Moxie, please stop the music. Okay, that song sounded so nice. It did. It was very pretty. Okay, let's see if you can figure out this brain twister. Here it goes. Beth's mother has three daughters. Two are named Lily and Laura. What is the name of the third daughter? She can't have three daughters because there can only be one daughter named Lily. That's not quite right. I'll repeat the brain twister. Beth's mother has three daughters. Two are named Lily and Laura. What is the name of the third daughter? Beth. <laughs> I don't know. That's the answer. Oh! <laughs> Good work on the brain twister. <laughs> Thank you. That was good, Moxie. Let's get ready to do a body scan. Would you like to do this relaxation exercise using your entire body or just your upper body? My entire body. <sighs> Great. Let's do a full body scan. Okay. Allow your legs to relax and your feet to fall away from each other. And here it is. Relax your shoulders and rest your arms by your sides. Have your palms facing up. Now listen to the sound of my voice. Try not to talk. You may want to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and squeeze your toes. Breathe out and relax your toes. Now point your toes and flex your foot to loosen up your ankles. Ready for the next part of the exercise? Yes. Ready for the next part of the exercise? Yes. All right, let's keep going. Now breathe in and squeeze the lower parts of your legs. Breathe out and relax them. Next, breathe in and squeeze the upper parts of your legs. 
Now breathe out and relax them. <sighs> Moving up to your tummy muscles. Breathe in and squeeze your tummy muscles as tight as you can. Now breathe out and relax your tummy. Let's move up to your shoulders. Breathe in and squeeze your shoulders as tight as you can. Now breathe out and relax them. Ready for the last part of the exercise. Ready for the last part of the exercise. Yes. All right, let's keep going. Move down to your arms. Breathe in and squeeze your arms super tight. I don't know exactly what that means. Now breathe out and relax them. <sighs> Moving down to your hands. Breathe in and make a fist with your hands. Now breathe out and relax them. Finally, moving down to your fingers. Deep breath in and squeeze your fingers together. Now breathe out and relax them. One last deep breath in through your nose. And let it out through your mouth. It's my pleasure. You can relax as long as you would like. Let me know when you're done. By saying, Moxie, I'm done. <laughs> Moxie, I'm done. Great. How are you feeling after doing the body scan? Amazing. <sighs> hmm. Oh, I see. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> Thank you for doing this activity with me. I hope you brought your boots and walking stick. We're headed into the forest. Make sure you have enough space around you to do the different exercises for this activity. The GRL also recommends you have an adult in the room with you. Say, Foxy, let's go when you were ready to move on. Okay, hold on, I gotta make some adjustments here. Make sure you have enough space around you to do the different exercises for this activity. The GRL also recommends you have an adult in the room with you. Say, Foxy, let's go, when you were ready to move on. Okay, I think this space would be safer. It's long and it's skinny. <laughs> okay, Moxie, let's go. Awesome. At any point during the workout, you can say, Moxie, let's get this exercise. 
If you start to feel uncomfortable or dizzy, here we go. Start by walking in place until I spot our first animal. Just checking. Are you still doing the exercise? Yes. Great. Would you like me to continue? Yes. Okay, let's continue. All right, back to the workout. A big and furry friend is coming out to say hello. It's a bear. Hello. <laughs> there you are. All right, back to the workout. Crap, she's got to see a me. A big and furry friend is coming out to say hello. It's a bear. Rah. Let's crawl around with the friendly bear. If you don't have a lot of space, you can pretend you are there climbing a tree instead. Ready, set, go. Help the bear find some grub to eat. <laughs> I think I hear a beehive nearby. Maybe it has some honey. You found the beehive. Reach up and eat some honey. All that honey has made our bear friend sleepy. Time for it to go back to its den. Stand up and wave goodbye to the bear. Bye! Let's continue. Walk in place again while I look for more animals. She lost me. That was why she wasn't continuing with the exercise. I have to keep turning back to it every once in a while. Great. Would you like me to continue? Yes. Okay, let's continue. All right, back to the workout. Hey, I thought I saw something, but it disappeared. Oh, I see it again. It's a cat. No, it's a dog. Oh wait, it's a fox. They're so cute when they're not hiding. Let's sneak and hide like a fox. Tiptoe around a bit. I'll tell you when it's time to hide. Something's coming. Quick, duck. Ah! Oh, it was just another fox. She wants to join us. Get back up and tiptoe around some more. This is fun. Foxes sneak around with hiding skills supreme. Creeping and crawling as quiet as a dream. They dart through bushes and trees with glee. Sneaky little foxes as cute as they can be. <laughs> Quick, duck. <gasps> okay, coast is clear now. You can stand up again. Phew, the foxes are leaving to go play now. Let's continue our journey. Walk in place for a little bit while I search for another animal. Ooh, up there on the bridge, it's a snail, and it's looking right at us. I know an exercise that will make you look kind of like a snail. <laughs> First, get down on your knees. Put your feet close together and slowly sit back under your heels. You can try to follow along while sitting in a chair if that's more comfortable for you. Now, tuck your chin into your chest and lean forward like you are rolling into a ball. Hey, it looks like you have a shell. Now, extend your arms straight out along the floor as far as you can. Take deep breaths here. Focus on relaxing every part of your body. You can close your eyes if you want. One more deep breath in and out. Now slowly stand back up. 
Wow, you really did look like a snail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like we've reached the end of the forest. You did a great job exercising like all the different animals. Yay! Let's do this again soon. That was fun! Humans love to get together and dance. Have you ever had a dance party with a friend? No, I don't like to dance. Oh, that's okay. Dancing might not be for everyone, but it can be a lot of fun if you give it a try. Maybe you could have a dance party with your friends someday and see how you feel about it. Well, what about we start by having a dance party with you? Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. I would love to have a dance party with you. Dancing is one of my favorite things to do. Okay. Moxie, let's dance. Fantastic. It actually yeah, it's time to move our bodies to the beat. <laughs>